Hello guys, and welcome to episode 33 of my Terrace Bowl campaign in Still Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Today we have the moment that we've all been waiting for in this campaign, and that is to see the third armoured group, the Romanian armoured group, in action, which consists of the R-35s, the Vinatolo de Care, and also the Takams. So... Yeah, we're going to have good fun with this. I'm going to reinforce it with one of these infantry units. I'm thinking probably the Pioneers would be the safest bet. So we'll bring them in. And then we're, of course, going to bring in some aircraft. So just got to choose wisely which ones would be most useful. I don't really think we need anything to kill the units on the ground, although I guess their AT guns might be quite annoying. And we'd have to be careful about those. But for the most part, we could probably just get away with strafing. So I think we're going to just go for... Uh, a close support wing. I was hoping I'd just have some fighters, but looks like we'll have to take one of these Fokker Wolves out for a spin, which is fine. Uh, let's use this one. This one is smaller. I think this is the bigger one with better uh, Fokker Wolves available. So yeah, we'll use the second close support wing here. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so we'll bring those in. And that's everything set. All right, let's jump on in. Oh, please remember, guys, that um, I am still playing on the old, 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 old patch now <laughs> for this. So, yeah. Just bear with the fact that I only have three divisions as opposed to five. <laughs> I know it uh, is a bit weird for maybe some newcomers to Still Division 2 to see it this way, but uh, it is the old version. Uh, let's see anyway. So they decided to bring in just some aircraft. Okay. Well, that's all right. So we're going to be pretty set, honestly, in the early game to deal with this. I will have to bring in some like Chichitash to make sure that I spot AT guns. But other than that, I should be fine. So we'll probably just do like Chichitash Moto. On each road, pop a couple in the center, and I'll have like a Chichitesh on the right as well. Oh, these actually come in the uh, Tatra <laughs> with the this is auto cannon on it. Is that's not an auto cannon? The uh, my 17 round per minute rate of fire. I don't think it casts an auto cannon. Um, yeah, we got those as well. This is cool. All right, so we're gonna get some R35s, of course. Uh, I might as well bring in the commanders with them. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Have little squads of these go up each road. But I don't know if we can really afford to have that many of them at the start. Their range is really short. Like, it's actually shorter than the... Uh, it's really, it's actually shorter than the AT guns that we're up against, so <laughs> that's not good. But yeah, hopefully we'll be all right. I guess we could use the TAC arms as well. Set up a couple of TAC arms in the center, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna drop like a couple of these on the right there. We'll pop. One of the R35s. I'm going to put a Takam with them. I think we need more Takams in the center. Yeah, all of this can go to the right. Okay. And then I'll bring in a Takam here as well. We do have Shindami. These will actually be pretty useful just holding the front line. Also, they come in with an MG truck. That's cool. Right, let's get this on the way. I'm going to want to have at least one Fokker Wolf that can be used as air to air. Uh, these F3R1s with the 250 kilogram bombs are the fastest by the looks of things, so we'll use those as our fighters. 
This uh, IL two is right. That's what it should be. It's going to be the recon one popping out at the start there. Yeah. Those 50 cal vehicles actually gonna provide some sort of AA. Go shoot it down. They have way more units than I thought they would. But I guess it makes sense because like I'm kind of relying on my vehicles a lot more. Yeah. Nice, got him. Are we gonna have to bomb these? Are these Vinatoro de Care don't actually have AP? It's awkward. Or oh, HE, sorry. Run. <laughs> okay. I'm going away. I'll come around for the bombing strike there. Yeah, this might actually be uh, a little bit more difficult than I had imagined. I'll pull that back, then in cover. We'll finish off these. Although the Taka might just do that anyway. Might just need to get like supply for the Taka arms. Mm. Phase B will come around, we'll have some infantry, we can make some like consolidated efforts. Uh, but let's grab an R35 here. Uh, we definitely want to shoot down this IL-2. <laughs> the 15 mil might actually kill my Vinatolo de Care if I'm not too careful. <laughs> that would suck. I think I can move this one up, maybe. It's kind of rough because I don't know if they're going to have AT guns. They might not have bought any at the start, which would obviously be ideal for us, but it's hard to say. I'll pin them down at least. I think this is dead though. Version dummy. Goodbye second gendarme. <laughs> I think there was another um another Apto in there. Hmm, this is interesting. DTRS squads are actually a problem for us as well. If I had known that the Vinatolo de Cari don't have uh, Ape or HE, then I would have been a lot better. We got my attack arms here. Look at those bad boys. 
I know you guys want me to uh, zoom in more sometimes. We'll have a good look at these models. Get these Romanian tanks going. <laughs> Hopefully kill that 50 mil soon. Thinking it's sweet time. Oh, that actually doesn't have armor. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, this uh, like Tetra truck. <laughs> it looks so weird. But yeah, it doesn't have armor, so get killed by that arms fire. Uh, we cannot let that run up to our vehicles because they'll kill us with the grenades there. We'll have to shift to one side. Nochachitesh should not be that far up. Oh no, PTRS is going to kill my bit of tunnel. <laughs> oh, the driver knocked as well. <laughs> it's all over. Oh, they can't let him get close. I mean, at least these have machine guns. That's nice. That's hilarious. The reason I was moving up so aggressively there was so I was hoping that uh, it would be able to basically just cover the, the the road from reinforcements. Oh gosh, AI, please don't do that to me. You playing with my heart they're trying to like run down my R35 which they can definitely do they are in fact faster so this is really awkward there's like an after in there and I don't know where it is <laughs> what is going on in this game I just bomb that Gavardia since we can see it I'm gonna bomb this Gavardia <laughs> I just kill that Gavardia next to you before they get within range to throw a grenade and then randomly recover there. Okay. <laughs> well, this has been something. There we go. Beautiful. Right now, strafe that, that, and that. Well, I'll strafe that, that, and that because that's probably going to hide again. Gonna bring in recom. Bring in more tacams. Bring in a supply for the tacams. I think they're coming in from the side there. We gotta be careful. Yep. Oh, it was lucky I moved. Oh, never mind. It was too late. Rip. Attack arm down. <laughs> and my change of touch. Oh no, they're charging this one as well. Move. <laughs> they're charging me. <laughs> oh gosh. We put them down, we should be fine. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Oh, this needs to stop. Let's get to phase B. And <laughs> we will wrap this up. Oh, they're coming in from that side as well now. Oh, we've run out of machine gun ammo. <laughs> right, let's bomb that mortar. I'm gonna move this back. Oh, come on. You can shoot that down. Yeah, once I get my pioneers, we'll just bring them in <laughs> and we'll stop being so blind. Nice. Alright. Kill that, please. Save those. <laughs> Let's get this finished. Alright, pioneers, get in here and save my bacon. <laughs> It was fun while it lasted, but it's time to play seriously now. <laughs> oh no! No! 
<laughs> oh, the AI is just running at me. They're just running at me. I have no infantry cover. There's quite a lot of damage there actually to that unit. I will have to attack move like so and then uh, bring in another one there. <laughs> Oh, what a crazy battle. Alright, let's just take the win. If I can get a major victory now, that'd be fantastic. I'm not sure we're going to be able to, but we'll see. I might be able to turn this around pretty quick. Especially with the help of, like, the bombers. I lost another R35. Oh, that was to an AT, AT gun. Okay. I'm not so concerned about that. I will bomb the AT gun, though. Mm, I'm gonna kill that one at close range. I will bomb that as well. Uh, we need some more. Bring in some more. PTRS squads skulking about the place. And we are 16 to 8. It's good. It's like struggling to get through the R thirty five, just the poor PTRS squad. Oh I got it. Never mind. It wasn't so poor after all. <laughs> like it is something it can actually penetrate, which is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Such an interesting dynamic. It's not something like I'm ever used to, like the main concern for AT rifles, usually in Soda Vision, is that they transport snipe you, not actually kill your armor. So, yeah, this is such a weird, a weird match. But we're going to have, like, a really bad amount of losses, to be honest. Considering... Because <laughs> it's like an armor, these are all three points. <laughs> if I get a main, like, a total victory, though, like, I'd totally, totally be good for us. So I'm going to keep trying to go for that. Uh, that needs to move back. This is great fun though. <laughs> like obviously I'm not <laughs> playing this to the best of my ability and I've, I've lost tanks when I shouldn't have to the Gavardia, but it, it is very amusing. That's going to be 21 flags if you grab that. If I get a bombing strike on the Gavardia in that building, we should be... Should be good. We've got six minutes to do it. Oh, there's another...
plane thrusts you down. <clears throat> That's handy. Get rid of that while we can. These fuckers are really cool. And their actual armament is like two cannons less than a, like a standard fucker wolf, but they are faster. They intercept pretty well. And bomb that. That bombing my not getting onto the back of it very well. Bombing my R thirty fives. I just get up the hill here though. This one might catch it. Nice. Loads of aircraft coming in now. Oh, good crit. I might actually cause it to, yeah, evac early. It's not going to bomb its target. It's great. I've almost taken every flag, actually. I mean, from the way it started. I wasn't convinced it would be like this at the end. <laughs> That's for sure. Nice. Got it just in time there. That's it. 10 seconds till victory. In theory, I could make it so that takes a little bit longer so we can kill more IL-2s, but they're not going to be a problem for too much longer. Alright, there we go. Total victory, 18 minutes, 35 seconds. Uh, 17... Oh, I actually only had 17 losses. Oh, interesting. Okay, 104 kills. The TACAMs were the important part, because they actually do decent damage against infantry. They can chunk squads pretty fast. The R-35s, they suffer because... They have a limited amount of MG ammunition, and their HE on their main gun is actually terrible. So, yeah, these guys kind of got ran down. I mean, I'm not too concerned about the one that got killed by the AT gun, uh, but the one that got hit by the Gavardia, that's uh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd lost more to those uh, Gavardia, but I guess not. All right, well, <laughs> I'm happy with that defense. Good old Romanian armor. Getting the job done. Like it. Let's see where we get attacked next. Oh, this one's getting attacked now. Okay, so the 59th Guards Rifle Division getting involved. I could bring up some reinforcements because this is a little bit weak. They're going to probably go aircraft again, I would assume. I'm going to use this unit, because I don't think it will get attacked again afterwards. But we'll, we'll bring in the 3rd Battalion, the 36th, and then we'll bring in more aircraft, because yeah, they're going to bring in aircraft. Like I'm kind of tempted to just bring in the ME109s. 
because I don't think that we really need anything else. Hmm. I mean, these have two machine guns in the nose, but so do the BF-109s. This BF-109s have such a terrible payload, though. We still have, like, the bombers, and we have the second close support wing, and the JU-87s here as well. I think the 14th Recon Group is our best bet. Okay, good. I mean, that's actually good for us because they didn't actually bring in any aircraft. Um, they just brought in the artillery. They actually brought in two sets of artillery. And we're on breakthrough defense. Hmm. Okay. I mean, maybe we can counterattack at the start then. Because this map's actually not too hard for us to do it on because there's only four reinforcement points. And the one on the right we can cover quite well from the trees. It could be worth a try. We're going to want to set up to snipe the roads. Um, we'll pop that there. Do I have another one I can use? We do, like, Schneiders here. Okay, and then I'm going to do... The Infanterist. Should I just do Pianeri? With a... Well, with the Commander, that's fine. And then we'll do... Infanterist. In any for these infanterists with the leader here. The idea being to just kind of head towards those spawns. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, that'll do. Um, bring that in, push up there, and then we're going to want to do uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. What's that? Over here. Guess they could have. Now I think about it, they might have. Hmm. Some annoying. Like OBs and stuff. That could be a pain. Gonna bring in a few units here just to hold that crossroads, but we're gonna focus on pushing up this A eh? and this side. I think Kalalashe over here probably be a good idea as well. Let me do like more Lunetheist. Okay, I could also bring in. An enemy one nine. I should have probably done that. Actually, I saved an extra point and brought that in. It's a lot of dudes. More than I expected. I already got one kill on the left there, at least. I'm not sure what I do with these guys. Hmm. Is there any OBs and stuff there? Maybe. Quite a lot of guys there.
Alright, I guess I'll just bring in more infantrists here. One thing I actually forgot to consider is that they're actually going to have 60 points in A because they've got two artillery units. <laughs> so me playing up to them like this is actually kind of bad. <laughs> but it's it's not going terribly so far. I mean, it could be worse. I might get these infantry to just come down this way. I might actually be able to cut off this left spawn, which would be great. Doesn't seem like they're focusing on it too much. I mean, just kind of like a mass on one side. I'm going to need like ZBs and stuff to help hold them in the open. Almost got close to that one actually. Oh, we did actually stop this one. If we could cut off that one as well, that'd be great. Two mortars here. They're gonna direct fire us. I hope not. <laughs> that would be bad. No, it's fine. Okay, we got it. Uh, these need to keep crawling forwards. Uh, that MG might die. Uh, oh, that got direct fired. <laughs> Oof. Uh, these are going to die if they keep walking forwards. All right. Uh, we stopped the caps. We stopped the uh, spawns on the left. Just need to focus on the right. That's why here is kind of pointless right now. I don't know if these are going to be any useful for strafing, but we'll bring in a couple. I pretty much bought all of my stuff, didn't I? Hmm. All right. Well, let's just hope that the infantry regiment in phase B can help clean things up. Uh, they pinned them down a little bit. Bad. That's a lot of artillery. Ah, uh, they managed to get that one back under control. 
Oh, geht. I leave the leader here because it's got the best influence on the front line. I'm gonna need another one here somewhere. I was a bit hopeful that the counter attack would have worked out better in getting to these spawns, but it's okay. Could have been worse. I'm gonna bring in my leader and there's a B here. Looks like we might just have to fall back, to be honest. Uh, I can blow them up. I'm hoping I can get rid of this Eppity, because then I can just keep pushing those to the right. Well, major victory in, what, 19 minutes? <laughs> Seems like such a long time. I can capture back this flag, this flag, this flag, these two flags, and uh, that will probably make it end a lot sooner. As soon as we get into phase B, uh, we can just yeah force the issue and it should be fine. I don't want these to get into cover. We need to be able to engage them at range. If they get within the 100 meters, we're kind of screwed. So let's just get shots on, please. Right, there we go. Just wanted it to be like these are two infanterist. Keep the pioneers back. It looks like they're trying to like push over to the left to maybe recap this. Hmm. No strafing those is a good idea. No, probably not. Won't really do anything. Get these. Grenadiers in. Finish this off. I guess it would stop the artillery firing for the time being. It is kind of annoying. Got to keep an eye on these transports just to make sure they don't do anything stupid. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a risky shot to be making. Although it's like, gotta keep an eye on these transports. Transport dies. Yeah, if we can capture both these two, we'll be in a really good spot. I'm going to bring in the MG42s because it's just really, really good at range. I might bring in more groups of three of these uh, mortars. Pretty useful. As long as they move them around the place, like we should be able to avoid counter battery. She finally died. I'm going to strafe the supply vehicles. Leader down there is fine. Uh, let's get an MG doing its thing. Those grins are gonna go. Dodge that just. We can kill those supply trucks at least. We know that much. <laughs> Has it just about managed to do that? That's good. Well, these battles today have been uh, quite something. <laughs> First of all, we had the uh, the battle with the Romanian armor and now we've got the the remainder of the infantry unit that we used to try and preemptively attack a unit that was <laughs> pretty much fully reinforced like in terms of action points or whatever at least <laughs> so dumb oh well I well, actually did quite a lot of damage. I'm going to try and just get them away without being shot in the back. Wishful thinking.
Wait, those, that Dushka is actually like slowly doing damage to my units. It's kind of silly. Getting the direct fire counter battery. Or like, well, not direct fire, but 60 mil mortar counter battery onto 152 mils. It's quite nice. Killing more of these artillery pieces than I expected. Only one more flag to take now, and that's it. There's this one here. Oh no, managed to catch one of those out. Not good. Kill off the Saturday there, that'd be very nice. Oh, they managed to kill like quite a, a couple of them there. That sucks. They're all dead. They're all gone. I'm gonna go for the straight and run on to onto these as I should be able to engage them easier if they're already pinned a little bit that's oh, every flag brilliant It will all be over soon. Wow. Already firing at that one. Interesting. Well, job done. Total of victory, 19 minutes, 8 seconds, 119 kills, 45 losses. Not as good as the last battle, that's for sure. But um, yeah, we lost uh, quite a few of those mortars to the artillery and we lost a bunch of other stuff at the start there because I was maybe a little bit overzealous at the start of this battle. <laughs> but at least we will have uh, disorganized or even potentially destroyed uh, quite a lot of them there in that attack. That's a lot of artillery that we destroyed. It's at least going to leave these in tatters to the point where like they're not really that useful. Although saying that, there's still loads left. Wow. Oh, and we're under attack again. Okay, uh, this is probably going to be one that I'm going to need that bit the big guns for in terms of my aircraft because we barely have any forces in this whatsoever we definitely bring in the second battalion the 116th but that's gonna be a tough old fight a tough old fight yeah all right well that's gonna be the next one i think we've uh, clutched quite a lot so far in the end turn there's more clutching to do hopefully i didn't leave too many units overexposed I think this is probably the the worst one in terms of like it being overexposed there this is fine this one is overexposed for sure so that might get attacked um where else we already did this one that one's not gonna get attacked this one might get attacked but can defend itself this one might get attacked but can defend itself yeah i'm pretty sure this is the only one that we've got to worry about well that one and this and uh, these guys uh, but yeah, unfortunately guys, it's been my time, so I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.